Hi there and welcome to today's tutorial on how to spawn vehicles into your DayZ server. First what you're going to want to do is download it and install Navicat because Chive is garbage. Once you've done that you're going to want to create a new connection so connection MySQL name it whatever you want put your username and password in connect to your database connect to your Shinaris database or whatever map you're running. Open up the vehicle tab. Now, depending on what you want to spawn, you're going to just remember the ID. So if I want to spawn the Skoda, I'll remember 8. If I wanted to add something from our mod, I'd have to add a new ID completely. So you just want to add a new column, 103 for the ID. You can find class names online, and that's pretty much that for our mod. Now, you're going to open up the world underscore vehicle tab, scroll to the bottom, add a new column, increase the ID by 1. Vehicle ID is the one I told you to remember. So say Skoda is 8, so we'll just put 8. The world ID is your instance ID, so Trinaris is 1, and whatever you're running I'm sure you'll know. The world space, this is pretty simple to do. You just run somewhere you want the car to be in game, and then what you're going to want to do is look at your character and figure out where you are in game. So take your position, copy that. You can also find this in the survivor database, but it's just easier to get it off the control panel. Now, you're going to put that in as the world space and a description. So go to tutorial. Eventually you might want to know what it is. So you're also going to set your spawn to 0 0.75, just the chance of spawn. You can set it anywhere between 0 and 1, but I just use the default of 0.75. There you go, that's in there. Click control save. Now what you want to do is open up the instance underscore vehicle and in this one you're going to remember that your ID is 1017 so an instance underscore vehicle score to the bottom like you did in the last database add a new column increase by 1 77 so 78 the ID I told you to remember so 10 whatever mine's 1017 world space going to set to empty string and you're just going to copy the string you already did. Paste. Set your fuel to 1. 0 is obviously empty. 1 is full. Anything above 1 is wrong. Leave your damage at 0. And when you control save, there you go. It'll give you your last updated, and it should add the vehicle in-game. What you're going to want to do now is restart or launch your server, and go in-game to where you have placed it. Obviously, you're going to want to move before you put the car in-game. Otherwise, you're going to spawn inside the vehicle, and all kinds of shit is going to go wrong. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It's pretty simple. Have fun and enjoy.